What's up guys, Nick here from TV Box Top and welcome back to my channel. On today's video, this beauty is the Emotin N1 Google Certified 1080p Autofocus and Auto Keystone Projector. Trust me when I tell you, judging at first glance, this is one of those projectors that will surprise you with its display quality and features. So I've done so many of these projectors and when one truly impresses me, it's imperative that I highlight it so that you my viewers know that it's something special. So to see its awesome display quality and features, stick around, my full review is up next. Welcome back. So the N1 has a native resolution of 1920 by 1080p, a brightness of 500 ANSI lumens, contrast ratio of 1000 to 1, an aspect ratio of 4 to 3 and 16 to 9. Its light source is LED and its display type is LCD. It has a maximum display size of 120 inches at 3.1 meters. It has autofocus and auto keystone feature. It has a zoom range of 100% to 50%. It has 30,000 hours of LED lamp life. Its operating system is Linux. It comes with 1GB of RAM and 8GB of internal storage. It has dual band Wi-Fi, Bluetooth 5.0, 100Mbps per second Ethernet LAN port. It supports display formats such as HDR10 and HLG. It comes with two 5W Dolby Audio internal speakers. And its fan noise is less than 26 decibels. So the box contains the N1 projector itself. You get this really nice Bluetooth remote. It comes with a 19 volts, 6.3 amps, 120 watts DC power supply, one AC power cable for the power supply, a support card, and a user manual. So, the design of this model places it in the medium sized category, and its body is made of plastic with an attractive gunmetal grey color with curved edges. It has a dimension of 5 inches wide by 7 and a quarter inches long by 7 and 3 quarter inches tall. To its front, you have its glass coated projector lens, an IR sensor just beneath the plastic to the top right corner, its autofocus and auto keystone sensor, and its exhaust vent. At the back, for input-output, it has one HDMI input, one USB 2.0 port, one Ethernet LAN port, a headphone jack, and its DC power socket. Just below the I.O. ports here, you have two 5 watt Dolby Audio speakers, and below the speakers, you have its intake cooling fan. To the top, it has an LED power button. And to its base has four anti-scaler rubber feet, screw holes for mounting to a tripod or ceiling mount, and a flip-out kickstand. So its first boot-up process features an emoting splash screen for a couple of seconds, then you have the pairing of the Bluetooth remote, then you are taken to its launcher. So this is the launcher and it looks pretty much like an Android TV box launcher with these large shortcuts to access your main applications and a shortcuts bar with your recently watched movies and applications. This launcher is running on a Linux operating system and if you navigate under the about section, here is the firmware build information. So navigating this launcher can only be done with the direction pad on the included remote. Additional controllers such as Bluetooth a mouse, mini touchpad keyboards and gamepads do not work when you pair them via Bluetooth. Controllers connected via USB also don't work. There are no manual controls on the projector itself, so if you lose or damage your remote, you will have to seek a direct replacement from Emotin. To the top left of this launcher, you have the option to select its source inputs and its settings area. The settings area is divided into 10 sections and the first section is your system settings. In here, you have 42 various languages to choose from, its date and time settings, screen saver options, sleep timer settings, you have auto sleep timer settings, you have firmware updates via USB, wireless OTA updates, and its reset to factory default option. 
The next section is picture mode, where you can choose from a selection of color presets or you can set your own custom color and brightness settings. Next, you have audio options. In this section, you can adjust its treble and bass levels. Enable or disable surround sound audio. Choose from a selection of audio presets. You can set the digital audio output mode. This is when connected via its audio line out port. It has text to speech options and a dialogue enhancement option. Next, you have your projection direction settings. This is where you can set where you would like to position the projector on your projector screen. Either front desktop or ceiling position or rear desktop or ceiling position. The next section is its Wi-Fi settings. The N1 comes with dual band 2.4 plus 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. However, it's also compatible with Wi-Fi 6 routers. Here I have it connected to my 5 GHz Wi-Fi 6 AX band. Under Keystone settings, you have the option to manually trigger the Auto Keystone feature. You can adjust its corner Keystone manually and the option to enable or disable Auto Keystone correction on motion. The next section is its zoom settings and in this section, you can reduce the screen size up to 50% of its original. Next, you have its focus settings. In this section, you can manually trigger the autofocus feature. You can manually adjust the focus using the up and down arrows on the direction pad and you can enable or disable autofocus to trigger upon startup and you can turn on autofocus upon motion. Next, you have its Bluetooth settings for connecting to its remote and to Bluetooth speakers and audio receivers. And the final section is its About section. Here you can see that it has an official Netflix ESN certification and you can view its firmware information. So that's its settings area and I return now to its launcher. It comes pre-installed with Netflix and Prime Video and there are no other available movie streaming applications pre-installed or the ability to sideload them. You have the YouTube application, YouTube Kids, you have an app called Cartoon Google. This is a live streaming cartoon application for kids. I guess everyone has a phobia, a silly fear that scares them so much they can't function and usually need new underwear. You have Tiki Live, which provides live streams similar to what you get on Zumu. The Bluetooth speaker app allows you to use it as a Bluetooth speaker. Simply open the application, connect it to your mobile phone, and you can start playing audio directly from your mobile phone to its dual internal speakers. It comes with a web browser. There is an app store called NetRage where you can install additional apps and games. However, in this app store, there are no additional movie apps such as Disney Plus or HBO Max. It comes with a mobile screen mirroring app for Android via Miracast and a home share app for casting your mobile devices via your local network. So for a demonstration of its Netflix certification, here I'm playing a video in HD with HDR. You can also navigate its menu and movies with the direction pad. 
A week ago, this desert locust in Ethiopia was a shy, solitary creature that moved very little. Not anymore. This young polar bear's home changes so much each year that he can't keep to a limited territory. Instead, he must roam for thousands of kilometers in search of seals. This is Amazon Prime Video, and here you can watch movies with Dolby Audio. For watching YouTube videos, the YouTube application plays up to HD 1080p with HDR. For playing videos directly off of its USB port, it can play 1080p HDR videos only, and 1080p videos with Dolby Atmos audio. It does not have the decoders internally for DTS HD Master Audio, DTS X, Dolby Surround, or Dolby True HD. Moving audio that transcends from channels to moving around you with pinpoint accuracy. For displaying images in a loop, you simply select the USB source input, select the Photos tab, and browse to your folder containing your images. Select the first image and press the play button to cycle through all images in that folder. You can set images to continuously loop. You can change the speed of the transition, change its orientation, and you can zoom in on images. For devices connected via is HDMI. Here I have it connected to an Android box and I'll now play a 4K AV1 video and have it downscaled to 1080p. So for a medium sized projector, this is one of the best displays you can get. It has very sharp edges and its focus is evenly distributed across its entire display, which means there is no blurring to its edges. Its lumens are very bright and there is a lot of headroom to increase its brightness, color and contrast. So if you would still like to use your Google Chromecast or Amazon Fire TV Stick or any other Google certified streaming device, you can connect these via its HDMI ports and they will work without issues. One of the more difficult devices is the Google Chromecast because it comes with HDCP 2.3 protection which some projectors have issues with and results in videos playing with no audio. Here I have it connected to the Google Chromecast and it plays videos with audio. Maybe third time we'll be lucky. When it comes to latency during gaming, here is a demonstration with it connected to my gaming PC and measuring its display response time in relation to my gamepad controls. I'm not experiencing any latency issues and my gaming control experience is very responsive.
for connecting to Bluetooth speakers, Bluetooth headsets, and audio receivers, you simply open the Bluetooth settings in the settings area, not the one on the launcher. The one on the launcher is for using the projector itself as a Bluetooth speaker. So in the settings area, open the Bluetooth settings and enable Bluetooth if it's disabled. It will automatically begin scanning for Bluetooth devices. Put your device into Bluetooth pairing mode and when detected, select it from the list to begin the pairing process. In this demonstration, here I'm pairing my 7.1 AV receiver and the pairing process was quick and easy and the connection is stable. You saw what was out there. That's gonna keep coming. Is this trouble? For fan noise, this projector's fan noise is so low, around 26 decibels, that it doesn't even raise above my standard room noise, so much so that I cannot even get a reading from it. This makes it the quietest projector I've ever reviewed. In summary, the Emotin N1 is one of the clearest, brightest, sharpest, quietest modern Netflix certified projectors I've reviewed. The camera used to capture its display in this video doesn't do full justice to its picture quality, and there is always some display noise due to low light. Seeing it with your naked eyes is truly remarkable. I'm impressed with its sharp edges, evenly displayed focus, autofocus, and auto keystone feature. For its small size, it comes with dual internal speakers and produces great treble and bass and its Netflix and Prime Video certification provides high quality HD streaming with Dolby Audio. So if you are in the market for a projector and you are confused as to which of these medium sized projectors gives you the best bang for the buck in relation to display quality and features, then I highly recommend this little beauty as one of your top choices. So it's currently being sold on Amazon for $339 with a $50 coupon reducing the price to $289. However, just in time for the Amazon Prime Day sales event, from the 8th to the 12th of July, it will be on sale with a $110 discount with a further 15% $50 off coupon reducing the price to around $179. So I suggest you add it to your Amazon wishlist to take advantage during the Prime Day sales event. So to bookmark its page, see the link in the description below this video. So that about sums up this review. Special thanks to The Emoting Company for sponsoring today's video by sending their projector for review. If you enjoyed this product and its features displayed in the video, then give it a thumbs up to support this channel and the work that I do here. All I ask is that if you intend to purchase this projector, you leave me a tip by using the link in the description to purchase as it provides the means and resources for me to acquire new and exciting products for review. So thanks in advance for using my links. If you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notifications bell to keep in the loop as to when I release new videos or decide to do a giveaway. I appreciate your time taken to watch this video and stay tuned for the next one.